Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I want to talk about some high level ways that you can use Asana to streamline your business. This is going to be a really useful video for anyone that's considering Asana. Maybe you're switching to this tool and want to see how can this really help me in my business? Or maybe you are an Asana user and you're really kind of using it in quite a light sort of way. You're basically just doing simple task or project management and you want to get more out of the tool and really use it to make your business more effective, then this I think is gonna be a useful video. I'm not gonna be super tactical, go into that many how to use different features in this video. I'm gonna be discussing more high level uh, ways that it can be used to streamline your business. And uh, I have loads of videos on my YouTube channel or you can reach out to me if you do want to learn specifically about any of these features. Now, if you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave me a comment below this video. And if you do want one-on-one -on -one support with Asana, then check out the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana consulting services and options. So to kick things off, one of the first ways that I think Asana can really help you streamline your business is to centralize all your goals, whether that's company goals, team goals, or even project goals, in one place and it enables you to clearly communicate those goals to your team. Of course, uh, you know, goal planning is important, but almost more important is that the team understands what those goals are and that we're actually assessing our progress towards those goals on a regular basis. So how Asana can do that is here in the, under the goals section in your sidebar. Now this is a feature that's only available at the moment on the business subscription, but you can create goals either for your company or for a team, or even for an individual. And this I think is one of the really, uh, this is one of the real advantages of Asana, and one of the things it does really well compared to some other project management tools, is it's not just a task or project manager. They really, the tool is very good at helping you think of your business in a very sort of holistic way. So in here, for example, I can uh, create some goals. Let's look at a couple, you know, I want to grow revenue to $100 million. I can assign this to a person. I can set a time frame for my goal. So maybe this is due by the uh, end of the year. And I can even break this down into sub goals. So how we're gonna grow revenue is by lowering customer churn and increasing monthly recurring revenue. And so I can click into that goal. I can see the description of this goal. I can see my progress towards the goal. And one of the really useful things I can do is I can link my goal to supporting work. So here's a project that's actually gonna help us to uh, achieve that goal. So this is one of the first things I think Asana does very well in, in terms of how it can streamline your business is goal planning typically is something that happens in a spreadsheet or in a document somewhere. By bringing this process into Asana, into a tool that you live and work in every single day, I think you're reminded about your goals and the progress you're making on a much more regular basis. The second way that I think Asana can help you to streamline your business is by creating a portfolio like this. Uh, think of it as like a dashboard that lets you really easily visualize the progress you're making on different projects. This is a really useful place for project managers or directors to look at to get a kind of high level view of what projects are going well, uh, which ones are maybe at risk or off track and need some attention. And how this helps you to streamline your business is that you may not have to meet together as a team as often, because often uh, we, we do need to meet purely to assess how are we doing, what are we working on next, how's everything going. With a portfolio, we can all clearly see, uh, for example, this project is at risk, I can see the percentage completion of the projects, and I can even go into the timeline view to see when different projects are starting and finishing, and which of the milestones in the projects uh, still need to be marked as complete. So this is a really useful way of keeping everyone on the same page and clearly communicating the progress that we are making towards uh, our strategy, our goals, and the progress we're making on projects. Another way that Asana helps you to streamline your business is you can really easily visualize how much work each person on your team has. So I'm still in the portfolios here. This is again, this is a business feature. And if I go over to the workload tab, I can visualize here and see how much work each person has. So this person here, Jarvis, he's actually overloaded later or early early next week. He's actually got a really busy day. 
Uh, Paul, if I scroll along, he's got a busy week coming up and I can drill down here and I can see which tasks uh, are taking up the most of Paul's capacity. And so this is a useful way that I can see who has capacity for more work or who's potentially struggling. Maybe I can assign some of this work to somebody else in order to uh, alleviate the burden on this person. And I think this is a particularly useful feature for heads of department, managers, project managers uh, who need to oversee what their team is doing. I mean, firstly, it lets you see what is my team working on, but it lets you actually work with each team member to, to allocate their uh, upcoming projects more effectively. It helps you to forecast how much work can we do over the next few weeks, the next few months. You can actually look ahead to see what everyone's capacity is. So I think it's a really useful way to uh, track everyone's work and, and what we're what we're all doing. Drilling down into some projects now, a really useful way that you can streamline um, uh, what you're doing in your business, is, and this is something I do with almost every client I work with, is you can create templates for the projects, workflows, or process that you do on a recurring basis. So think of this as like where you would build a standard operating procedure for any type of project that you're working on. So for example, here I have a client template and so uh, every client we go through, you know, we have to set up the project, we go through phase one, which is onboarding, phase two, which is kind of development, and phase three, which is launching. You know, this is this is just a demo account, but we've we've clearly laid out these are the key milestones, these are the key steps that we have to go through with every client. And I think, I mean, this is a great way that we can streamline processes because when we then have a new client, I can simply come up here, I can use my template, give it a name, and I can choose a start date or an end date, and I can really quickly create my project from the template, and all the tasks, all the sections, all the milestones are ready to go. And uh, speaking from experience, it's really useful working from these templates where you can click into a task. If you've got uh, any descriptions, subtasks in here that break the task down into smaller steps, it's a great way to document your processes. So as you onboard new employees or bring in new people into this project, they have all the information they need in one place. And speaking of uh, bringing information into one place, that brings me on to my next point, which is that Asana really is kind of the hub for your business. Think of it as the operating system for how your team does their work. So here, let's go into an actual project. Maybe I'm working on this Apple client. I can click into a task and I can, um, in the task, I can put in a description or any notes that I need to keep. I can attach files from my computer, from Dropbox, from Google Drive, and I can even have conversations down here as well. So I can at mention people and, uh, hey, how are we doing? So I can centralize everything about my work in one place, my notes, my documents, and communication. And really this helps to streamline your business because you're having to jump between tools less often. Now, instead of having to use a separate notes app like Evernote or um, uh, other, other ways of communicating like Slack, we can actually manage a lot of how we work in this one tool and we can really simplify your overall tech stack by centralizing everything in Asana. So less task switching. And I think it's really useful to have conversations in the tool where you actually set up tasks. So rather than having a conversation in email or in a communication tool like Slack or Microsoft Teams, you can have your conversations here in Asana, which is where you've got all your projects and tasks set up and uh, speaking from my personal experience it's really useful having those conversations in there because you're always reminded about what is the task that we need to do and what do we need to do next and how does the conversation uh, kind of bring all of that together Another way that we can use Asana to really streamline processes in our business is we can integrate different tools as well. So in, um, in a project, if you come to the customize menu and then you come down to this apps area, you'll see a library of apps here that you can integrate with Asana, like Slack and Microsoft Teams that I just mentioned, uh, but Zoom, Gmail, and a bunch of other reporting and um, you know different types of tools that you might want to integrate. Even other project management tools uh, like Jira, for example, if you have a dev team that uses uh, another tool, you can actually integrate that as well. And part of the work that we do with our clients is using Zapier to connect Asana with other tools and systems that you use. For example, um, I help a lot of clients with a CRM called Pipedrive, and often you need to start a new project when a deal or a project is won in your CRM. So Zapier is a great tool that we can use so that when you win that new deal or you've got that new client, you can really quickly initiate a new project or start tasks 
uh, in Asana. And so Zappi is a fantastic tool for really linking Asana with all the different systems and tools that you use. And so the more you can kind of link your systems together, because inevitably we do have to use a number of tools to do our work these days, but if we can link those tools together to create a really seamless workflow between them, I think it really helps to streamline uh, the work that you're doing. And one of the final benefits of Asana that really helps you to streamline your business is that it just creates so much more visibility and accountability. Because the entire system is geared around assigning tasks and projects to people, you can really easily visualize who is doing what and by when. If you don't have a tool like Asana, maybe you work primarily in spreadsheets or email or a tool like Slack or Microsoft Teams, it's very hard to see what people are working on. And I really should have started with this, but uh, if I go onto somebody's task list like this, I can see what are they doing, when are each of those tasks due, who's responsible for what. So again, it might mean that we don't have to meet as often to catch up and assess how are we doing, who's doing what, how are you going, because I can see what the team is working on. I'll even get notified when specific tasks are complete as well. So it means a lot less back and forth and fewer meetings is always a good thing. So those are some of the ways that Asana can help you to streamline your business. Bit of a high level video for you today. If you do want to drill down into any of these features, then check out the other videos on my channel or leave me a comment below if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.